Hey everyone, it's the Single Life Advocate. Welcome back to my channel. I am super excited that you are here. Today, I want to talk to you guys about living life single for the Lord. I know we haven't really talked about it. I've been sharing some other adventures and aspects with, of my life with you, um, but this is the most important part of my life. And in today's topic, I wanna specifically talk about our lives with the Lord, whether we're single, and this does apply to whether you're single or married or whatever, um, choice you've made but I do think that when you're single you're dedicating your entire life to the Lord and to the Lord alone there is no other life partner that you have than with you and Jesus and so in today's video I want to talk to you guys just about what I've learned about life um, as a single person living for the Lord and just as a believer um, I was sitting today and I actually <laughs> got up and I realized that I, I don't know if you guys knew this about me, but I am a Zumba teacher. I have my license, um, but I've never actually taught a class. I got the license and then was like, <laughs> okay. Um, I didn't really do anything. Um, and so the Lord was teaching me the choreography he wanted me to do for these classes. And so I was spent all night up, praise and worshiping the Lord, figuring out this choreo, learning from him. And then I realized we've made it very easy for ourselves to section our lives. We section certain parts of our lives so that God's in the ones that we're okay with him being in and that he's kind of not in the ones that we don't want him to be in. Can he see all of them? Yes. Um, <laughs> he gives us breath in our lungs and life to our body. And so every aspect of our life is seen and known by him good or bad does he support it if it's bad obviously not um but he's not going to leave you nor forsake you once you've accepted him into your heart and so it does break his heart when we make bad decisions or go down wrong roads or don't want him included in something but that doesn't mean that he leaves and just dips like people like us do living life for the lord is a choice and it's my life is lived out for the lord every aspect of my life so it's not just some part of my life it's my whole life is lived out for the Lord and dedicated unto the Lord. Sometimes we struggle to have a surrendered heart because we numb ourselves to God knowing all of the stuff in our lives by distractions and social media and just all this stuff and we just keep our brain busy and busy and busy and then we just forget to add him into our lives. And it's almost unintentional but intentional because we know that when we sit in the presence of God if we've been living in a way that is not pleasing to him that we will be convicted of that and we also know that if we numb ourselves to the situations we feel like we can just run on our own and not acknowledge the mistakes that we made and come to repentance and have to change our lifestyle so it is important as single people living for the Lord and just as people living for the Lord but I'm talking to my single peeps here because you know what this channel is about um but as single people living for the Lord, our full dedication of our lives is every aspect. So it's not like I'm supposed to make, you know, go to church on Sunday and run a godly channel and spend time with godly friends. But my Zumba class is supposed to just, I'm just allowed to go all secular with all the songs and all the stuff. No, that's sectioning out my life and including God in one thing and not including him in another. And God was revealing to me, Diamond, I wanna be included in all of this. He's the one that told me that I should become a Zumba teacher. He's the one that, you know, is leading and guiding me throughout this whole process. So why wouldn't I want to honor him and include him in that process? So I got convicted of that this morning. So that's the one thing that I wanted to share with you. Um, another thing that I wanna share with you is just check your heart posture. I was going through a season where it was really rough, but only because I was making it rough. Um, you can't complain for waves in the pool when you're the one splashing around. Um, so I think that we have to make the deliberate choice as single people living for the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will be glad and rejoice in it. Regardless of the circumstances, this is another day. Some people didn't wake up this morning. Some people didn't get to say hello to their family and friends. Some people didn't get to continue to share the word of God with people because yesterday was their last day. Like that's a reality that when I think about it and when we think about it, we should be like, oh my gosh, God gave us another day. He intentionally said, you know what? I'm gonna give her another day. I'm gonna give him another day. And that is a blessing. And so Lord, we just take a second. And we thank you for this day. We give you all honor, all glory, and all praise. We honor you and we surrender to you, Lord God. We ask, Lord God, that today and every day that you lead and guide us. We surrender our hearts, our choices, our posture, our purpose, every part of us we give to you, Lord God. So just 
have your way in our lives in Jesus name. Um, but another thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is our purpose. And I think a lot of us, um, if we've been gifted in music or we've been gifted in dance or we've been gifted in speaking, we think that our purpose is just in that area. And yes, that has a lot to do with our purpose, but it's not good to live our purpose in one area. So for instance, I'm a dancer, I'm a dancer at heart. I used to do competition dance, I don't do it anymore. Um, I'll dance in grocery stores when the music comes on. I just love dancing. So if I'm gonna take my life and section it out and choose to not honor God and dancing. Now God has given me other gifts and talents that I'm grateful for, but if I'm just taking this one specific gift, I'm only talking to you guys about one right now. If I'm taking one specific gift of dancing and I choose to just squander it off by dancing to what I wanna dance to, um, and then say, but my life honors the Lord because I go to church on Sunday, I'm in a Bible group, I have godly friends, um, I try not to make the Ten Commandments, I'm really good at this, and yeah, no, that's not how it works. Our whole life is to be surrendered unto the Lord. And so we have to ask ourselves the important question of, oh, if I'm not giving it all to God, am I giving it to God? And the answer is no. If you're not giving it all to God, then you're only partially surrendered. And that's lukewarm behavior. And God doesn't call us to be lukewarm. Obviously, we're not perfect. He sees us in our situation. But he also knows that no one knows the day of the hour when he's coming back. And no one knows the day of the hour. That's their day or, or last hour or last day. So it's important that we just surrender before the Lord. That we realize that this life down here is temporary. That it's not going to be forever. That God has given you a purpose and a plan that is specific. And he wants you to carry it out and live it out. But if you're going to choose to hide things from him or not honor him in one area and full sin honor him in another, that's not really full sending. We can't split our purpose up like that. Our full purpose that God has given us is to be lived out God's way. So if I'm doing one thing and zooming to secular music, but in another area of my life, worshiping and I'm on the worship team on Sundays, that doesn't make it okay for me to have that behavior. It's not a balancing act. If I'm choosing to have God rule and reign in my heart and in my life, every choice is determined by him. Any choice that is not according to his purpose, plan, and will for my life, whether it's my choice, whether someone chooses to bite on the temptations of the enemy, or whether um, it's influenced by somebody else, whatever the case, if it's not in God's will, if it's not a part of God's will and purpose and plan for your life, it is not his will and purpose and plan for your life. It's outside of God's will. So it is very important that we set standards in our life, whether we're single or whether we're married. But as single people, God is our everything. We chose this on purpose. There is a reason why we're not running off to get married or have a partner or live life. There are single people, some single people who live life just going around sleeping with the next person that they meet or the person they meet on a dating app. And we've chosen to not live like that. We have chosen to live single for the sake of the kingdom. And so God sees us all. God sees the mistakes we made and he chooses to forgive us. But as someone who has chosen this intentionally, I do think that it is very important that we set godly standards and boundaries now and they're in the word. And so not everyone understands the lifestyle of being single and celibate for the kingdom of heaven. Not everyone understands that. And I have gotten lots of backlash so far. And I'll have to talk to you guys about that um, in another video. But I've also gotten encouragement from the people that mean the most to me. So it really is a choice. Choose this day who we will serve. You can choose to honor the world and yourself and your own choices by sectioning out your life, saying, God, you can be in this one, but not this one. Or God, I'm going to just live my own way. But I promise you that brings a lot of heartache and it brings a lot of pain. God wants to free you. God wants to literally just bless you and just love on you and allow you to just be um, open vessel to be used by him to just tell others about the goodness and glory and grace of Jesus. And that is such an honor that God would even think of choosing me, of choosing you, of choosing any of us to carry such a wonderful and vast task. But God is merciful and God is holy and God is good and he knows and sees everything. So out of that posture of loving him, I surrender to him and I give him my whole life. Do I always know where I'm going? No, but I know that the shepherd is holding my hand and he has the plan and so I'm going in the right direction. You know what I mean? I just wanted to come on here and remind you to keep holding on to God's hand. 
to trusting the purpose and plan that he's made for you and to stop sectioning your lives off into different sections where you allow him in one and not in the other. He still sees the other. He still sees it and he still loves you, but he wants you to choose better. He wants you to choose him because he has the absolute best for you. Not only in mind, he has the plan, he has the way to go about it, he has everything. He designed us all intentionally. We wouldn't be here without him. So shouldn't we trust him? I think we should. He is worthy of our trust, our adoration, our lives, our whole purpose and our goal. And I think sometimes we distract ourselves, sometimes intentionally and sometimes unintentionally because we want to live life our own way, but it's really not worth it. Because can you imagine if we were living life in our own way, in our own path, and we're like, you know what, I'll come to God later. I'll repent to God later. I'll talk to God later. And then the time was up. And in some way, shape or form, one of us met Jesus and we were living like that. I'm not able to determine where we would end up after that. Obviously, if we gave our life to the Lord, but living in the life of sin and then passing away like that, it definitely would cause some questions. Just what I've read from the Bible um, about the end. So I definitely think that it is best. And I know that was a really serious topic and it gets kind of like, oh my gosh, but it is really, really important to think about because a lot of times we don't think about that. We think that we'll live this certain time period in life and when we get old, transition and end up in heaven. Yeah, it's not a golden ticket kind of situation. When we give our lives to the Lord, we accept him into our hearts. And so a part of that acceptance, if we want to grow in a relationship with the Lord, is continuing to grow in relationship with the Lord by spending time with him. We can't expect to want to spend time with God in heaven if we're not willing to spend time with God down here. I can't remember who said that, and I said it a little differently than they did, but that's essentially the point. If you don't want to spend time with God down here, what makes you think you'd want to spend time with God up there in all eternity? In all of this that I said, I just wanted to remind you to hold on to his hand, trust his plan, know that he has good and great plans for you, the very best. He has nothing but the best for you. He is the best. So know that, hold on to that, stay in your single and celibate life. I am so, so proud of you. I know that this isn't for everybody and it literally says in the Bible, Jesus said it himself, to the one who can choose this, choose it, but not everyone will choose it. And I'll put the verse down here because I know I totally modern day 2023 paraphrase that, but not to the one who can choose the single and celibate life, choose it. And so I'm proud of you for choosing the single and celibate life. I'm proud of you for choosing to honor God in whatever capacity, married or single, but when you choose to surrender your life to God and you're single and celibate, God is your only source. God is our only source for anything. God is our life partner. Hold on to God's promises. Hold on to God's hand. Don't section your life off into pieces and keep God out of certain areas because he sees it anyway. He loves you. He wants to help you. Surrender your life to him. I know sometimes it's hard because we like controlling everything but we can choose to control everything and miss out on the biggest blessing of living life for and with the Lord. Or we can choose to let it go and give it to God and surrender and choose to live the life that God intended us to live. The very best life that he has for us. The very best life of all is life with and for Jesus. Thank you so much for watching this video. I am extremely excited for the journeys that God has for us. And so I'm just going to end this time in prayer and then I'm gonna wrap up this video. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord God, I just come before you. Me and my friend, Lord God, we come before you and we just choose to surrender our lives. Lord God, we know we've made mistakes. Lord God, we know we've messed up and we are in need of you, Lord God. We are in need of a savior, Lord God. So we just re-surrender our hearts and our lives to you. We give them to you, Lord God. We ask, Lord God, that you lead and guide us. Show us where you want us to go. Nothing or no one on this earth compares to you. So we thank you, Lord God, for your presence. We thank you, Lord God, for your Holy Spirit that is convicting us and moving us to change. Thank you for still talking to us, communicating to us, and just loving us so much. 
where you're willing to give us more days, more chances to not only turn and walk in the purpose and plan that you have for us, but live out the life that you have called us to live, Lord God. Thank you, Lord, for this day. I ask that you bless both me and my friend. Fill us both with your love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance are operating in both of our lives and the lives of those around us, Lord God. Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in thy sight, Lord God. You are our strength and you are our redeemer. Be glorified in every single aspect, minute, second of our lives. Lord God, we just re-surrender. We give you our whole lives. We will go where you tell us to go. We will do what you tell us to do. We will be bold in our faith in Jesus' name. Teach us how to properly honor you with our whole lives. We thank you, Lord, and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much. I just had like a light flash. Thank you so much, friend, for watching this video. If this video encourages you um, and you're excited to be a part of the family, then please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and share. I am super excited to be on this life journey with you, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!